Hello everyone, it's Gigabeef here and today I'm going to show you why the Tasmanian Tiger Trooper 35 is the best backpack in Tarkov right now. And it all comes down to the adjustments that BSG have made over the past couple of months to gear. There are three main elements that determine what makes a bag good, which are the internal space that it has, the price, and its associated stats, which includes weight alongside movement speed, turn rate, and ergonomic penalties. Back in the day, the Attack 2 bag was synonymous with geared players. Even now, it has a kind of legacy where some people still see it as the go-to bag because it was once the meta thing, so they keep running it without thinking too much about it. As far as 35 slot bags like the Attack 2 go, there are four alternatives these days, but two of them have non-standard layouts, i.e. they have dividers and aren't one unified storage space. This makes the G2 Gunslinger and the Paratus much more awkward to use than the others when packing loot. The other two are the Pilgrim, which is find in raid only and notably very very purple, and the Tasmanian Tiger Trooper 35, which is the relatively new backpack. In the recent rebalance of backpack debuffs, the attack too was given some nasty ones, including minus 7% ergonomics, minus 5% move speed, and minus 3% turn rate, which is fairly typical of the larger bags. But the trooper improves on this by 1 or 2 percentage points on each stat, with the low turn rate debuff of only 1% very welcome. When we take a look at pricing though, this is where the gap really becomes clear. This bag only costs 57k from Ragman, which is incredibly good value. If you look across the broad spectrum of available backpacks and their prices, this one stands out as being more like the pricing for the tier below, i.e. the 30 slotters. What's more, it's readily available at Ragman 3, which with a minimum level of 32 is far easier than 42 for loyalty level 4. It takes 1.2 million experience to get there versus the 2.7 million for max traders, which is two and a bit times as much XP. The final piece that really seals the deal came from the recent weight rebalances in April 2023. With the aim to rebalance equipment weights to match their real life components, a balancing strategy that, to be honest, I'm not a big fan of, but that's for another discussion, many of the extremely heavy bags ended up at around 3 kilograms or so. But the trooper got brought all the way down to 1 kilo, putting it into the lightest third of all bags in the game, whilst being in the top third for space. This brings us back to the poor attack too. Although a historic bag with a legacy in Tarkov, right now it's surpassed in every single way by the trooper. Price, stats, access, you name it, it's just beaten. I think this probably points to two things. A, the trooper is likely a little cheap for what it does, and B, the attack 2's barters are too expensive for what it does. As the Ragman 3 barter includes sugar, this unfortunately increases the price fairly dramatically as the wipe progresses, being lifted by the moonshine craft rather than anything to do with the bag itself. Right now, the Ragman 4 barter with one pro kill medallion and one gold chain is better, but still 110k, which is about double that of the Trooper 35. Given that it's strictly worse, this doesn't make a great deal of sense. So the Trooper is clearly very good, but are there any alternatives? Within the direct grouping of 35 slot bags, the Gunslinger is actually not totally terrible. It has good stats, although more weight, but it is fairly cheap at Ragman 3, costing 62k, which can be accessed after completing the quest Key to Success. The Trooper is still better than this for sure though, and one of the best parts of the 5x7 bags, i.e. the ability to mix and match all different kinds of loot, rigs, etc. is broken up by the partitions, and in some situations this will leave you unable to min-max items properly. The same goes for its slightly bigger brother, the F4 Terminator, which is even bigger at 40 slots from Ragman 3 for 99k, which in theory is quite good if you're picking up just 1 and 2 slot items, but again, you never see anyone using it because of the partitions and the slightly increased price. If you're looking for the literal biggest bags in the game, the enormous couch bag, officially titled the 6SH118 Raid Backpack, is not actually as expensive as you might think, given it's accessible for a barter with Prepple 4 for a lion statue. These are around 120k on the flea, which given it has an enormous 8x6 interior with 40 8 slots total is honestly a pretty fair price. The debuffs are relatively high and the weight is not tiny, but if you want storage at all costs then you can't actually get better. There's an even cheaper way to get this too, using 9 Usec dog tags over level 25 after completing Easy Job, which is Prepple's quest to plant a marker in the Lighthouse Road Camp helicopter. The implied cost versus selling the level 25 dog tags to therapist is 85k, which looks like a steal but it's not necessarily sustainable as you have to kill the PMCs to get them, and naturally the pricing element of this bar it gets worse as you use tags with higher levels than 25. Each progressive level of a PMC dog tag adds 378 rubles to the therapist purchase price, so as you go higher, it gets more expensive and becomes less good value. The second biggest bag in the game, the Blackjack, on the other hand, has become insanely expensive due to the price of Kajura. Yes, you can craft this yourself at 8k a go, but you have to keep in mind that you could have sold it on the flea and bought something else, so there's an opportunity cost in there that makes it effectively very pricey. One of the other issues with pretty much all of these big bags is about visibility. 
Practically all of them come in some kind of tan, FDE or light colouring, with perhaps the exception of the green raid backpack, but this has visibility problems all of its own just by being so huge. The first bag with actually decent camo is either the T30 Multicam, which is a regular 30 slot bag costing 57k from Ragman 3, or the Mechanism in Black, a 32 slot non-standard partitioned bag, but this costs about 100,000 rubles at Ragman 2 now, again due to the rising price of fabrics. Outside of these, in the 30 slot bags, the Trizip after completing inventory check is only 45,000 rubles. Sometimes that is cheaper than the 4 energy saving lamp barter these days, but it does depend so you have to keep an eye out for lamps under 11k. Given it's Ragman 3 as well though, you're probably better off spending 10,000 more for a trooper with more slots and lower weight rather than using the cash purchase. At Ragman 2, the drawbridge, T20 and takedown are all decent and around 40k, although very firmly tan in colour. These are all usually even cheaper on the flea as well, so are a solid pickup for lower level players or those that are a bit cash strapped as they'll often come back in insurance, specifically the takedown with its bizarre 3 slot wide storage. Below this we're into the 20 slot territory and you will get a relatively good supply of these generally from scavs, but the one to note is the day pack as it's the second lightest bag in the game at just over half a kilo which is really useful for min maxing light kits and it comes in black which is nice for general camo. This costs usually about 20,000 rubles on the flea market and is probably my go to if you just need to pick up a cheap half decent bag. So now go and be free to love the Trooper 35 backpack yourself before it gets nerfed. Otherwise as usual a big shout out to all my patrons, hit all the buttons if you enjoyed the video and as always have fun in your raids.